Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another board game unboxing. So, as you can see in front of you, I've got two big boxes from Kamon. Simon, whatever you want to call it. Cool Minis or not. It also says Cool Minis, Great Games. Kind of interesting. Let's see what these two boxes are, though. So, uh, whether or not you can see this, we've got Masters of the Universe, the board game. Two big boxes, and we're going to open both of these things up and figure out what they sent us here. Uh, this was a Kickstarter back from a year ago, um, 2022. Uh, so it delivered about a week ago. Just now getting it to the table here so we can actually see what's on here. I have a bad tendency to uh, get these things in and forget to unbox them <laughs> to check to see if everything's good or not. Um, and then time passes and it's like kind of too late to do anything about it if there is something wrong. So I have decided to go ahead and get this one out of the way. It's also a game that I am very, very excited for. It is Masters of the Universe, so how can you not be excited for that? But yeah, um, I picked this up as part of the all-in pledge. Uh, some of this will be coming to retail, but not all of it, so yeah, we'll kind of sort through that as we go. But for today, we are just going to get everything out of these two boxes. So uh, it does come labeled here with box one and box two. So we're going to start with box one, and then we'll move to box two. Get this one out of the way first here. and go to box one, box one. 55 by 37.5 by 38 centimeters, whatever that means. Two cartons, very cool. I did throw a little thing over top of the shipping label here, um, but pledge number here, they don't really mean much, but that's what it is. <laughs> Masters of the Universe, the board game here, made in China. So, with that out of the way, we're going to open the box. <laughs> ah, yeah, so, start over here on the side, cut the tape. I have not been doing a whole lot of Kickstarter backing in the past year or so, but again, this one came out a year ago, so... That's kind of why we got it in at the time we did, but um, it's easy to uh, get excited about stuff and then it takes a year to get here. So it's just really aggravating that you have to wait a whole year before you can get anything. So I don't really like that pre-order kind of idea, <laughs> but I'll make an exception in a couple of cases and this is one of them. All right. So. And I'll apologize that the uh, lights and everything are wonky, but uh, uh, my setup is made for closer to the table stuff, not big unboxings as y'all have seen in the past. So yeah, all right, let's go ahead and get this out. We got uh, some card uh, styrofoam corner thingies, throw those out. Throw that out. <laughs> and we got some packing material, which we're also throwing back behind us. More packing material. They do a really good job with this. And now we can see the first couple of these here. And um, I'm going to start with this one because it's in the center. Oh. Yeah, this is cool. So this is. Um, the Plastic Castle Grayskull Pack. It has uh, the castle, the base, the hilltop, training dummy, weapon rack, laser gun, a banner, and a ladder. And you do need the Clash of Eternia board game for this to work, but uh, yes. Very cool looking though. Um, the box is the cardboardy box and it's kind of, kind of, kind of open, but not that big a deal, but uh, yeah, so today we're just actually taking the boxes out of the boxes and setting them to the side. We'll actually go and look at everything more in detailed 
in another video. But uh, let's get the first big game here. So uh, this one, this is the base game. This is Masters of the Universe, the board game, Clash for Eternia. Very, very nice looking here. And we'll kind of drop it down here so we can see it a little bit better. But uh, lots and lots of cool stuff on here. Uh, this particular box here uh, comes with He-Man, Man-at-Arms, Tila, Orko, Stratos, Redman, Royal Guards, Eternian Guards, and He-Man on Battle Cat for the good guys. The bad guys, we've got Skeletor, Trapjaw, Evil Inn, Beastman, Merman, Triclops, Shadow Beasts, Skeletor on Panthor, and Hover Robots. <laughs> very, very nice there. So that's the base game. This is the one that's supposed to be coming available at retail. Um, and then the last one in this box is our Box of Power. So this is uh, all the stretch goal stuff, I think. If I remember correctly. So this is the one that won't be coming to retail, but there's a lot of stuff in this thing here. So uh, just going off of the back here, we've got Fisto on Strider, Roboto, Mossman, Snout Spout, Rokon, Mechanic, Fisto, Clamp Champ, Extendar, Buzz Off, The Sorceress, Zor, Hero, King Grayskull, Commander Man at Arms, Goddess Tila, Manny Faces, Battle Axe He Man, Stone Dar. We also have Faker, Web Store, Clawful, Ninjor, Blast Attack, Too Bad, Mosquito, Stink Or, Spike Or, there's a lot of ores, Bounty Hunter Trap Jaw, Hurricane Hordak, Terror Claw Skeletor, Whiplash, Scare Glow, Zodak, Laser Light Skeletor, Fangor, Lady Slither, Scorpia, Skeletor Mini Clones, He Man Mini Clones, Cringer, King Randor, Battle Cat, Swift Wind, Prince Adam, Queen Marlena, Panthor, Deadly Plants, Objectives, and Boulders. That's pretty awesome here, so we'll set that to the side as well. Uh, and that's everything in the first box. So. Let us grab box number two. Since this thing was uh, so long ago when it actually started, uh, I don't remember what most of this stuff is. So uh, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fun actually getting to actually do the unboxing of the actual game components. So stick around for that. We will be having that, not in this video, but in upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and slice open this box. This is supposed to be, I guess, all the expansions and everything. Um, I do remember that I ordered an extra set of dice, but that's the only thing I remember other than uh, doing the all-in pledge. Uh, more packing materials. Put that over there. And the first thing out of the box is a battlefield playmat. That's pretty bitchin'. All right, more corner packing things. And we get all these cool things in here. So uh, let's grab this one first. We have Wrath of Snake Mountain, the expansion, which is a little bit smaller than the base game, but still a nice looking box here. Uh, this has King Hiss, Serpentine, King Hiss, Squeeze, Tongue Lasher, Ratlor, Cobra Khan, Snake Face, Snake Troopers, and the Tyrannosaurus Rex. That is cool. I like that little cover art there. So um, I'm running out of space back here, so we'll have to put it back at the back. <laughs> Next up, we have Assault on Castle Grayskull. 
I love this artwork here. <laughs> uh, on the back here, we have uh, the expansion information-y stuff, and it has also with it Skelicons. Skelicons, not Skelicons, Skelicons, and Randor's Guards. Very nice, though. Then we have She-Ra and the Great Rebellion. Also nice artwork on all of these things here. Uh, this expansion includes She-Ra, Frosta, Perfuma, Glimmer, She-Ra on Swift Wind, Flutterina, Mermista, Bow, Bright Moon Archers. Very cool. Oops, I stepped on some of the bubble stuff. Uh, the last expansion we got here evidently is the Evil Horde. And this includes, I don't know if you can see that too well, but uh, yeah. Anyways, Hordak, Mantana, Leech, Moduloc, Hordak on Mantasar, Grizzlore, Catra, Shadow Weaver, Horde Troopers, and Horde Wraiths. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm digging this thing. Uh, next up, we've got these uh, cardboardy boxes. So this is the 3D pack of Ruins set. Um, terrain pieces, basically. So this is the little caverns and caves and stuff like that. So very nice, though. Next up, we have 3D Pack Nature Set. So this is actually got instructions on it. So uh, that's cool. Um, so the Nature Set. So this is the the swamp lands and the plants and stuff like that. So cool. And our last cardboard box set is our 3D Pack Rocks Set. So. This are, this are, this is the big rock bases that you can build up and have different levels on the actual board itself. So that is pretty cool. I do like that. We've got a couple of other things floating around in here. Uh, that was in this little baggy thing here. So this is, I guess, one of our pack ends. Um, this is Cal. So... I don't remember if that was a uh, uh, one of the extra things for early backing, or I don't remember, but that's just uh, one of the miniatures for the game. Uh, then we have this one, which is the plain Mantisaur. So uh, in the one of the expansions over there, we had Hordak on Mantisaur, but this is just the Mantisaur by itself. Also very cool. Then we've got two sets of dice here. Um, marble dice. Two packs. And I don't remember. I'm, I'm guessing that one of these came in the all-in pledge and then I got an extra set, which is what I remember. So I'm guessing this was like a, just the part of the all-in pledge and then this is the one I ordered separately. So that makes sense, but <laughs> that's what that is. Uh, and that is all of the stuff that's in here. More packing stuff on the bottom, but yeah, that's uh, a pretty good haul. We're going to go back over this here and just kind of try to lay it out on the table here. Let's uh, scoot in a little closer to the actual table itself, if we can. Try to get us a nice, pretty shot here. But uh, So we got these, these pack ends here, so the Mantisar... Cowl and our dice. Uh, then we got our battlefield play mat, which we'll I guess stack there. <laughs> um, the box of power. I'll do it that way. Box of power and. We'll turn it this way so we can see the top of the box. How's that? That might work. 
Box of Power. Then we have the actual base game, which is the Clash for Eternia. Then we had the uh, Castle Grayskull miniature. <laughs> we call it a miniature, but it's a bigature. <laughs> it's a castle. What do you want? It's supposed to be big, right? And then we've got 3D packs here. Um, our rock set, which I guess we can do it that way. The rock set, then we have the uh, nature set, and then we have the ruins set. And then four expansions here. We have the evil horde, and I guess we can do it like that. We have She-Ra and the Great Rebellion. We have the Wrath of Snake Mountain. And then the last one is the Assault on Castle Grayskull, which uh, looks pretty awesome here. Nice throw in for that. Um, and we're out of room here, so I guess we go right there. And uh, yeah, so that is uh, everything that came in the box here, uh, in all the boxes. Lots and lots of cool stuff here. So yeah, uh, what do y'all think? Get this camera to kind of stay still a little bit here, but uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff here. Um, I'm very excited about this stuff. Um, as I said before, I will be going through and doing an actual unboxing of each one of these. So we'll have a separate video for the Clash of Eternia, the Box of Power, etc., etc., etc. So be on the lookout for those. They should be coming out um, soon if they're not already out by the time you see this here. Check in our uh, previous videos if you would like and if you're just randomly stumbling upon this. These could be already unboxed by now. So. Yeah, uh, that is the uh, Masters of the Universe, the board game, all-in pledge, plus an extra set of dice. So, yeah, uh, so um, that's all the time we got for today. Thanks for watching, as always. I appreciate y'all stopping by. I am interested, though, did any of the rest of y'all back this particular game? If so, have you got your pledge yet? If so, have you played this thing yet? That's a big thing is... How well does this actual game play? Um, the walkthroughs, tutorials, and everything that they did as part of the Kickstarter looked pretty awesome, but I know things can change between the year that it's on Kickstarter and the, when it actually shows up at the house. So, yeah, what's your experience been like? Um, and if you haven't backed this thing, didn't pick it up or whatever, um, is it something you would like to see at retail? I'll try to get an account when I'm doing the individual things to let you know which of these are Kickstarter exclusives and which ones are supposed to go to retail. I know some of them were going to retail, so I'm going to guess that probably the expansions are going. I don't know about the assault on Castle Grayskull. I don't know, but I'll, I'll try to find more information. But uh, yeah, um, seeing all this stuff, what are you most interested in seeing? Is there one particular expansion pack, miniature set, Castle Grayskull that you really are dying to see? If so, leave a comment in the comment section because that's what it's there for. If you haven't already, feel free to like us, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Be on the lookout for more awesome content coming down the pipeline, which will include an unboxing individually of all this stuff. And that's pretty much it. So until next time, game on. And also, I have the power!